Hello again and welcome to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to show you a couple of journals that I have just finished. These are based on the, um, the Carpet Mugger course by Nick the Booksmith. And I have finished two of these. One is a kind of travel notebook size, um, kind of narrow, narrower and taller. And the other one is more like a sort of A5 size, finish size. So uh, I will have shown you the uh, flip through of this in a previous video. I'll put the link below where you can also see me just finishing off um, the cover um, embellishing. And I do a quick flip through of that. So we won't go through that again, but I wanted to kind of do these as a sort of, as a pair. I won't be selling them as a pair. I'll be selling them individually, but um, I really like the the kind of look at these. I recycled an old um, white broadie anglais blouse, which I was no longer wearing. So I've recycled that and used that for the cover. And then I've just kept, it's a soft cover. Um, the larger one has, uh, they both have one signature, just one signature. This one has a lot of um, kind of embellishments and pockets and things. This one I chose to leave completely blank. So there are no... Um, no pockets, no tags, no real embellishments at all, just plain pages. Um, I don't know whether I've ever made a journal like that, but I thought this one I would just keep um, completely blank. So whoever gets this can, um, you know, add their own. So there's just one, again, one signature, sort of 80 pages or sides, so to speak. There's 20, 20 sheets uh, in the signature, a mixture of stuff. We've got some ephemera, we've got some um, old uh, vintage stationery, there's an old envelope, we've got vintage book pages, obviously we've got some tea dyed paper, more book pages, some old wrapping, this is actually a, an old um, book wrap cover on an old um, book, vintage book. Um, we've got some, um, uh, what, what is this, this is um, ledger paper, <laughs> I can't think of the word then. Uh, we've got some more um, uh, produced, uh, reproduced, reproduction um, ephemera and more genuine vintage papers. Some copy stained card. We've got some of Edith Holden. We've got a science book cover there. Some old um, uh, pattern paper. Some vintage music sheets and um, more stained paper. So that's got a few fold outs. So there's no pockets, but there's a few fold outs. I've stuck the edge down there and that just kind of is a kind of flip out folded page. And I think there's a, another couple of those. Yeah, we've got the Edith Holden one, which is another sort of flip out. And um, we've got uh, the, the rest of that ledger paper is a, is a kind of double fold out. It's got a long page that. And there we have it. So that's um, just a nice, um, small, um, they've both got the same interior inside fabric. Um, this lovely script fabric, which I got from Moonflower. Um, I've added some um, binding as a, as a tie and I've just added this little, I got this from a pen pal, from my pen pal Suzanne Alt. Um, so thank you, Suzanne. Um, I thought I love this feather, so I thought I'm just gonna that just just adds a little finishing touch to this this particular journal. So those two journals are going to go up on my Etsy store today, along with um, a couple of others that um, I've also finished recently. So there'll be about three or four journals um, up on my site um, next couple of days. Thanks for watching.